which number line shows 361 plus 544? So let's see, and all of them were starting at 361. So now let's add 544. So this one starts by adding 400, and then 50, and then four. It's adding 454, not 544. Now this one adds 500, then 40, and then four. So this is adding 544 to 361, and we see that it is 905. So this makes sense. You add 500, you get 861. You add 40, you get to 901. And then you add the four, you get to 905. So definitely go with that choice. This one over here, instead of adding 500, you add 50, which doesn't make sense because we're clearly adding 500s, four tens, or 40, and then four ones. Let's do some more examples. Which expression can be solved with the following number line? So let's see, we're starting at 718, and then we're adding 200, and then we're adding 40 to get to 958. So this is really 718 plus 240, which is this choice right over there. This is kind of strangely fun. Which number line shows 585 minus 368? Let's see. These, these second two number lines both start at 585, or we're starting our computation at 585. This one's starting at 558, so it swapped the numbers. So this one doesn't make sense, but let's look at this, these two choices. So we want to subtract 300s, 6 tens, and 8 ones. So in both of these, we subtract 300s, and then we want to subtract 6 tens, 6 tens, and then 8 ones. That's this one over here. This one swaps the, instead of having six tens and eight ones, it has eight tens and six ones. So it swapped, this is subtracting 386, which isn't the original problem. So definitely like this third choice. Let's do one more example. Which expression has been solved with the following number line? So we're starting at 935, and then we're going to subtract 400, and then we're going to subtract 20. So this is 935 minus 420. 935 minus 420. That choice right over there.